Welcome to The Eclectic Thrifter and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. It's Tea Tuesday. Or in my world, Crafty Tuesday. Our project for today is repurposing this thrifted box. We're going to turn it into a small doll closet. I thrifted it for $3.99. It was originally $19.99. So pour yourself a cup of tea and let's get started. First, I'm going to fix this little torn bit on the hinge. The hinge is just a simple paper hinge, so we're going to take some tacky glue and make a quick repair. I do not have a large selection of craft paper, but this looked very pretty and it was a similar color as the box. Now this is a wonderful self-adhesive mirror. I purchased this on Amazon last spring. I used this product to repair the 112 scale tea trolley as well as the bathroom mirror for the dollhouse. So we're going to figure out how to put this paper in there and I think I can cut out a nice frame for the mirror from that little section right there. I think that'll work perfectly. Now we're going to measure the paper in there. We're going to press it down as far as we can and get a good fold. There we are. And that looks wonderful. Look at that, it fits perfectly on the mirror. This little doll cupboard is going to go to the daughter of my son's roommate in Portland, Oregon. It's just that simple. And voila. And look at that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I removed the little brackets that the dowel fits in to show you how I put them on. So we're going to put them back on. I'm using little caps from water bottles and the one inch dowel fits right inside. You'll want to notch out one section on one of the caps. So I'm going to put a little hot glue where I've drilled the hole. It doesn't have to be perfect. The drill slipped a little bit, but that's not a problem. Use a toothpick to put it right through the hole and center the cap. And if it's off by hair, the young person's never going to notice. So now we're going to do the other side. Put your toothpick through the hole. Put your hot glue on your cap. If 
going to the center with the toothpick. And then mount it. And turn the little opening slightly toward the back of the closet. Next, we're going to mount the dowel and secure it with these screws. I've sanded the dowel down to freshen up the wood so it looks nice and new. See? Now we're going to make a few hangers. This is floral wire from the hobby store. We're going to double it and give it a twist. And the rest will speak for itself. You might find your own way to make hangers, but with this particular wire, I had to double it. I'm just using the wire that I happen to have on hand. My goal last year, and I was very successful doing that, is I used up a lot of ingredients that I had in my craft closet, and I'm going to continue that on until this year. My projects always change, so the ingredients change. My focus on crafts this year will be vintage crafts, as well as miniatures. Once you've achieved your basic shape, you can seal it off with electrical tape or duct tape. This hanger is going to have a layer of ribbon around it. In the end, I twisted the wire and just made it into the hanger shape and tied it off at the top there. Next, we're going to put a layer of ribbon around the entire hanger. There we are. I'm going to make five more, and I think our little friend will be all set. Thank you so much for joining me today for this little repurposing project. Please like and subscribe, share my thrifting and crafting channel with your thrifting and crafting friends, and help me to reach 1,000 subscribers. I welcome your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. Check us out on Instagram and tap that notification button for upcoming announcements of thrifts and crafts. But most of all, have a lovely, lovely day.